Today's new generation of timber harvesting equipment is evolving away from tracks and more towards rubber tires. To improve traction and durability, many operations are adding tire chains. In this video, you will see the method and the tools we use to install tire chains quickly and easily. The only special tools we use are a six foot length of one quarter inch wire rope with loops in each end and this scissors type pulling tool. Begin the installation of the chain by laying it out on the ground and pulling the loose ends free. Be sure the traction lugs are facing up. The shackles for connecting the chain ends will be attached on the chain for shipping. Remove them at this time. Attach the cable to the end links of the side rails using the shackles. Throw the excess chain through the cable. Back the machine to the chain. Now hook the cable over the lugs on the tire. While driving the machine forward slowly, force the outside of the chain around the outside of the tire. Be sure the chain stays tight during this operation. If the chain gets loose, it is usually easier to remove it and start over. When the chain is wrapped to the ground on the other side of the tire, stop the machine and put a block against the tire to pin the chain. Drive over the block and continue forward until the block is free. Now we can start hooking up the ends of the chain. Use the scissors tool to pull the ends together so you can look for the chain pattern. The chain pattern alternates three rings across, then two rings across. Therefore, the next sequence should be three rings. Find the three ring pattern on the chain. You can now remove the excess links with a cutting torch. Use the scissors tools to pull the links together for hookup. You may need to pry some of the links over the tire lugs. The ring pattern should now show. Count the number of links between stringers. Hook up the last stringer using the same pattern. Do the same for the rest of the loose stringers. Pull the rails on the outside and inside of the tire tight. Shackle the ends together and cut off the extra links with a torch. The completed chain continues the ring pattern of 3, 2, 3. After the chains are installed, move the machine slowly. Be sure the chains have plenty of clearance between all parts of the machine. Chain tighteners are also available to tighten chains that get loose due to normal wear. Now you have seen the tools and methods we use to install large tire chains. Installing chains quickly and with little effort will give you more options for your operations.